Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. Now we're going to turn our attention to preparing our engine case. These engine cases are stock VW Type 1 engine cases that have been modified for use in the Aero-V engine. That modification process will leave some uh, metal shavings and other debris in the cases which you'll have to clean out. So when you get the case it'll be uh, pushed together like this. What you're going to want to do is separate the case, take some compressed air and, and blow out all of the uh, debris that will come out easily and then we'll like to wash them up. And what we'll do with that is either use some mineral spirits or what I like to do is just get a big wash tub and put some soapy water in there and just dunk the engine case halves in there and swish them around and then bring them out, let them drip dry a while and then take your compressed air and blow them out again and they'll be nice and clean. Once you get them cleaned up, we'll go ahead and push the two case halves back together and that will automatically mask our mating surfaces uh, for our painting. Now some of our builders don't paint the cases and that's okay the engine will be fine if you leave the case bare but most of the builders will paint them either with some engine enamel or what we like to use is just some barbecue black uh, that you can buy at your local supply house the uh, same type of paint you'd use to paint your barbecue grill it's a high temp paint and it's a kind of a satin black finish looks real good on the engine and on the cylinder so we'll use that for for our engines here but you can use whatever high temp paint that you'd like uh, there's some areas that we don't want to get paint on, so we'll go ahead and mask those off. And you can see here on the top of the engine, we've got an area here uh, where our uh, breather plate will go on, and we'll mask that off so that we can put a gasket on there and get that to seal. Now this area, when you get the case, is actually going to have four studs sticking out of it. Now you can use the studs if you want, but we supply cap screws uh, for that location. Uh, a little easier to install, and it looks a little bit better. So you'll need to remove those studs. They are metric. So you'll either have to get a metric stud remover or find a couple of metric nuts that fit on there and you can uh, double nut the uh, stud and then back it out. They come out pretty easy so take the studs out. It also makes it easier to mask the area once you've removed those studs as well. So we'll mask that area off. We've got another area here where a cover plate goes on. We'll mask that off so the gasket will seal well. Uh, this boss right here is actually where the distributor uh, mounts on the stock Volkswagen engine. Uh, we don't use a distributor so we're going to use that area actually for our oil fill plug. So we'll mask the in, internal bore of that so that we get a good seal with our O-rings on our oil fill plug uh, and that takes care of that. This area here is where the uh, top mount oil cooler will mount on if you're using a top mount cooler or if you're using the bottom mount cooler there's a bypass plate that goes on here. Either way uh, we want to mask these areas off where the little uh, rubber seals go in there to seal that uh, uh, oil cooler area. So we'll put a, a piece of masking on there. Uh, as you can see on the side here we've got our cylinder areas. Uh, where the cylinders will mount on there. We'll mask the internal bore of that and just uh, put some rags in there to keep paint from going into the engine case. Below that we've got uh, these areas where the push rod tubes will seal against the engine case when we install our cylinders and heads. Some people don't mask these and usually that'll work okay. I particularly like to mask them just because I want to get a real good seal on those push rod tubes. This is one of the areas where there's a potential for leakage if you don't get a good seal on a Volkswagen engine. So push rod tubes and cylinder base are some common leakage areas so we'll pay particular attention to those uh, when we're ready to paint so that we get uh, uh, an area that will give us a good seal when we're finished. In the front of the case we have our uh, prop hub area. We mask that off uh, so we keep some paint from going down in there and then below that there's the oil pump mount and there will be a gasket that goes on there so we mask that off uh, so we can mount our oil pump and get a good seal there. 
the bottom of the case we have our oil filter area either the stock Volkswagen oil screen will go on here or we have a what we call a mini sump which is a, a fine mesh cleanable filter that has an option that can go on there either way there's a gasket that needs to seal in this area so we'll mask that off and keep that area clear so that we don't have paint uh, messing up our seal with our gasket later on also on the back of the engine uh, which is actually the transmission area on the car engine this is actually used as the back of the engine for our aircraft engine you've got a couple areas here uh, where our main uh, rear uh, seal is and then the cam plug goes in here uh, we want to mask that off so we got a good clean area to get a seal in those when we uh, assemble our engine so that's our engine case uh, then you can go ahead and paint it and then later on we'll open that up and have that ready to assemble while you're painting the engine case you might as well go ahead and paint your cylinders as well these are steel cylinders uh, and they're not coated with anything so when you take them out of the box they are bare metal and they will rust if you don't paint them so um, we mask the bottom area off this is where it goes into the engine case we'll mask that off to so get a good clean uh, area to go into the case the upper area up here is the part that goes up into the head where our head gasket will seal we'll mask that off so we get a good seal there when we assemble the engine but the finned area in between is where we want to get our paint so we'll uh, have that ready to paint now when you get these cylinders the pistons are actually in the cylinders as they're shipped to you and for now I just leave the pistons right in there we'll take them out later and we'll do some prep work on the rings and pistons themselves but for now they can just go ahead and stay in the cylinder so we'll just mask these areas is off and get them ready to paint we can do all our painting at once and then once we get that done we'll continue with our assembly